Great. Greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It is still your favorite tutor, Mr. Tlajayo, and welcome back to Back to Basics, right? We are still looking at sine, cosine, and area rule. Uh, look, ensure that you check this particular playlist whereby we are doing some of the basic introduction of, uh, of sine rule. Uh, cosine rule and also area rule so that you can have a proper understanding right before coming here now i know most of you probably struggle when you are given a question whereby you are only having you know variables and you are required to basically show or to prove something right let's look at this particular question so in this question here they are saying uh, now from here in the diagram below you're having p t s r which is a parallelogram they say q uh, you're having q t which is a midpoint of p right so which means automatically they are telling us that this is the midpoint of that one then you're having q s as six unit p c uh, p t as three uh, t s as what as eight and also uh, QT as X and T1 as theta. Now, the first question requires us to calculate what is your cosine of theta, right? So, already this is my angle of theta that I'm having here, right? And now, according to my uh, my formula for cos of theta, right? So, it states that if I have cos of uh, my cos of theta, right? My cos of theta is given by A uh, squared plus b squared subtract c squared over 2ab, right? Or rather, my cos of c is going to be that one, which means now from here, what is it that I'm required to have here? So in order for me to calculate my cos of theta here, I am required to have at least the side, side plus the corresponding opposite side, right? So because the formula it is saying right now, this is going to be same as what? The cos of theta will be firstly this side here, Right, which will be the uh, side squared here, right? Will be x squared, the side here. And plus, I add the side side. Remember, you must have the, the sasa, right? You must have the sasa, all right? Uh, which is going to be side angle in the side. This is the side here. This is going to be your 8 squared. This is going to be subtracting what this. I am going to be subtracting my uh my six squared divide by this is going to be two into bracket multiplied by x multiplied by what multiplied by eight all together right and then now from here what does this mean this is x squared right this is going to be x squared and then this is same as plus 64 subtract 36 right divide by this is going to be 16x all together right then what is going to be this one here? Can you see that this indeed 64 subtract 36, this is going to be x squared plus 28, right? Divide by, this is going to be divided by, uh, divided by uh, 16 uh, x. I would get this is going to be divided by 16 x. So basically that's what I am going to have here as my, uh, what is my cos of theta? So they want us to calculate what is going to be the length of QT, right? They want us to find out what is going to be my QT. How can I find my QT? How can I find my QT, right? There are a lot of things that I can do now from here to find out my QT, but what are some of the basic things here that I can start with, right? Now, this is my QT, and my QT is my length X, and I am looking to find out what is actually, what is the actual value of my QT. Maybe I can start here, right? Maybe I can say, look, this, I was given that this is my parallelogram, right? So now I can start by saying, look, my PR, uh, isn't it that my PR is going to be same as my TS, because these are what, are these not opposite sides, right? These are going to be uh, opposite sides of a palm, right? These are opposite sides of a palm, right? And if you are having those, so which means now I am saying my PR, it is going to be given by 8, right? And if my PR is 8, therefore I can conclude that uh, P, uh, Q is equals to QR, which is equals to 4. Right, so which means here I am having four 
uh, here I am also having four units, right? This is four units. This is also four units. Uh, can we agree on that one, right? So that's four units. That's four units, which is something that I can start with, right? I can also equally say, look, my PT is equals to RS, which is going to be equals to three. Now, this is going to be what? This is also opposite sides. Uh, of a what of a palm right remember opposite sides of a parallelogram they are equal to each other which means here i'm also going to have my three example i am going to now come to triangle qtp right q uh t and also p i am saying here in my triangle uh in my triangle q uh tp what is that i'm going to have here in triangle uh, QTP, I want to find out what is going to be, uh, what, what is going to be my, uh, X here. Let's get right. So here I want to find out basically using my sign rule, or rather I want to find out what is going to be as my QTP. I'm going to start here and say, look, uh, now firstly, my angle Q1, right? My angle Q1 is going to be cos to, uh, theta, right? My angle Q1 here is going to be cos to theta, this is going to be alternating angles, right? These are alternating angles. Why are these angles alternating? Because uh, you what? Because your uh, your PR will be parallel to your TS. Okay, right? So and then now from here, look, I want to make my Q one to be the subject of the formula, right? So which means I'm still going to apply the Sasa method, right? For uh for the cosine rule, right? So, which means now from here, I'm going to say, look, my cos of theta, right, which is Q1, right? My cos of theta, which is Q1, uh, my cos of theta will be equal to the side, right? Remember, this is going to be the side, which is going to be uh, 4 squared, isn't it, right? This is going to be 4 squared plus uh, this is going to be x squared subtract 3 squared divide by... Now, this is going to be divided by 2, multiplied by 4, and also multiplied by x, right? Remember, it's the side, side, subtract this particular side, right? Divide by both of the sides. Then, which means now my cos of theta now here from the Q1 is going to be same as what here. Uh, if I am fixing this, this is going to be 16 uh, plus x squared subtract. What is going to be this one? This is going to be 9, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then this is going to be 4. This is going to be 8x, right? So which means basically my cos of theta is going to be this one, right? But now I have my other cos of theta on the side, right? Remember I was given, I proved that my cos of theta on this other one was uh, x squared plus 28. So these over 16x, right? So I can equate this to this one, right? But I can start by subtracting 16 uh, from uh, 9, right? When I say 16 subtract 9, that gives me 7. So this is same as 7 plus x squared over uh, 8x, right? 7 plus x squared over 8x. And then what is it then that I'm going to do now from here? I can literally just now cross multiply from here. And when I'm cross multiplying from here, what is it that I'm going to have here? Uh, this is going to be same as 8x, right? This is 8x uh, into brackets. This is uh, 8x into bracket. This is going to be 28. Uh, uh, 28 uh, plus x squared or x squared plus 28. Either or still going to be the same thing, right? Uh, is equals to 16x into bracket 7 plus x squared, right? Oh, it's okay. And then now I can probably start by multiplying here. 8, uh, 8 multiplied by 28. I think this will be 1, 2, 1, right? This will be 1, 2, 1. Uh, this will be 1, 2, 1, x. And then this is 8 multiplied by this. This is going to plus... Uh, this is, is it 1, 2, 1? No, this is going to be 20, uh, 224, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 224. 224. This is going to be 
8x cubed, right? This is 8x cubed. Then now on this other side, this is 1. 16 multiplied by what? 16 multiplied by 7. What is 16 multiplied by 7? This is then 112x, right? This is 112x. Uh, then this is going to 112x plus 16x cubed, right? Plus 16x cubed. Then here I can literally just collect my like terms, right? So when I collect my like terms, what I'm going to have here, uh, if I'm transposing this to this side, this is going to be 8x cubed. Uh, divide, and then if I'm transposing this one here, it's going to be 112x, right? Then, for example, I can uh, either take this into one side. I can say this is going to be uh, 8x cubed subtract 112x uh, is equal to 0, right? I can take out, I think, do I have a common factor here? Uh, let's see. Do I have a common factor? Yes, I can take out 8x if I'm not mistaken. 8x is a common factor. Then I am going to be left with x squared subtract 14 if i'm not mistaken is equal to zero then now which means here your x is going to be equal to zero or your x squared is equal to 14 right which means now your x here it's going to be is going to be equal to uh, plus minus 14 right it's equal to plus minus 14 or root of 14 out again then uh but now here we cannot have the negative x, right? So which means your x here is going to be same as root 14, right? So whatever that you're having here, it's going to be same as root 14. So I am hoping that all of this makes sense and we are in a position to answer all the questions whenever we are given.